Hey people, I am live. Welcome to the stream. I'm here with Megan. We are on Queen Street East at the Valley Village in Leslieville. And it's a blustery, windy sort of day today. The temperature has felt warm and cold and everything in between today. <laughs> There's a look to the west towards downtown. So thanks for checking it out. I know I changed the stream time start a few times, <laughs> but Megan and I were busy doing some things before the stream today with her family. We went out to dinner. We went to Descendants Detroit style pizza and it was very good. It was so good. It was very, very good, yes. And you know how things sort of take a little longer than you expect, so I had to adjust the stream start time a couple of times, but now we're officially underway here, so thank you and welcome everyone. We're gonna make our way north up to Danforth Avenue and eventually back into downtown. And I see we have Vivian Johnson, hello, hello, and Marge and Billy T. Yvonne Atherton and Wesley. Hello, Gertage. Hey, Lena Sandoval, hello. Tom Bikes 416. Yeah, we're going to head east here to Carla Avenue and then north on Carla. Danforth. Up to the Danforth, yes. And we're going to go west on the Danforth to Church. Yep. And then south on Church Street. That's right. And I'm going to stop the Glad Day books. So I'm yeah. Hey, David Bangor, Maine. Hello. Darren Ross. Hello, Smitty. Kristen Fuller. Chris G. That guy kind of looked like your friend Jim. Where? He just passed us. That guy there? Yeah. I didn't see. Maybe I'll see his face in the replay. Yeah, he looks like your friend Jim. <laughs> Hey, Mark D. Hello. She says, hello, Megan. Hey, Harjot. Hey, Shrey Dehino, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Shredenho. Shredenho. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> That is so dystopic. Look at the advertisement. Find a moment of joy in your day. Like, just one moment of joy. Like, just one. Like, like we can't have a totally joyful day in this late stage capitalist so better find just one moment. Just one tiny moment of joy. I don't it's very know. sad. I have many moments of joy. So do I. <laughs> Luckily. So we already hit Carla? We have. Okay, that was fast. Alright, let's go. Actually, let's cross to the sunny side of the street so that it's going to be warmer. Okay. So we're going to head north here on Carla. Hey, Zach the Vehicle Enthusiast. Kev 3, Neville 6000, Picard, and Gage. Tiana and H. Hill. And everyone else, I might have missed a few names here and there, but we'll say hi, I'm sure, as we progress here. It's a bit windy as we walk north here. I apologize for any wind noise, but I do have my little wind protector on. mics, both of them, to this phone. Right. I can connect maybe one of them. Right, Bluetooth. Yeah. Makes sense. Hey, Whitney dude's in the house. Hey, Whitney dude. Stephen Hill. So this is Carla Avenue. It's kind of an interesting street. It's lined with these old buildings which used to be mostly factories 
dating back to the early 1900s to about the 1920s. Hey, Scott Langill, hello. Imagine just like being someone in like the early 1900s and just being like, yeah, I'm gonna open up a factory. Right. <laughs> and make gadgets and gadgets. And you're just in gadgets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just going to open a factory and make sweaters. Like, what? Yeah, well, most of these have their historical plaques so you can see what they used to make. Largest graphic arts companies in Canada. High quality printed materials such as maps, checks, and certificates. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. 1913. Quad mods, hello. Ooh, the street is a wind tunnel. It's a bit windy. Doggies. Garment factory. advisory for Toronto is over. <laughs> what time did Megan get to Toronto? She got here on Thursday night. The Wrigley factory. This is where they made gum. Wrigley gum. Now it's lofts, I think. Sounds like a hurricane. Yeah, the wind was just blustering there. Yeah, it's very windy. This is one of my favorite of the old buildings. This is really cool. Yeah. See how both of these are all one building, really. They're all connected. Shods is live. Well, it happens. <laughs> yeah, I guess you can't totally fish whether it's live or not. Yeah. I was originally planning to do the stream earlier, but it just didn't work out that way. Mm. Hey Scott Briggs, how you doing? Arthur Berry, hello. towards downtown. You can see the skyline off in the distance. That looks like a fun place to eat. Right there? Yeah. Yeah. That looks like a place where you could get a decent sandwich. 
we need more places where you can get decent sandwiches, you I know? Agree. Yeah. I am a sandwich connoisseur. You're on a racing car movies kick. <laughs> so I'm just crossing Dundas. It seems to be themed, like a themed kind of place. Yeah. Yeah, the Crow's Theater. You like the video, John O'Meara? Thank you very much. <laughs> Steve Redman, hello. The old factory buildings continue on here for another couple of blocks, I think. They're pretty cool. Yeah. I think lots of them are repurposed now, you know, and still have life in them of a different sort. I'm imagining, like, as we're walking down the road, I'm imagining, like, people coming in and out of these factories a hundred years ago. You know, like, wearing their old-fashioned clothing and, like, men in bowler hats strolling around with walking sticks inspecting their factories. Right. You know, <laughs> showing them off to their buddies, like, look at my 400 employees. Look, here's an old... Oh, yeah, there it is. Now you can see how it really looked. <laughs> All right, no worries, Scott Briggs. <laughs> This is how it once was. Yeah, look, men in bowler hats. Yeah. Those dudes there. <laughs> yeah, that looks like early 1930s, maybe mid 1930s. Just judging by like the cars and what they're wearing, like the style, of, that style of bowler hat was popular in like the mid early to mid 1930s and like the style of pants although assuming that like those are regular working class people they probably would have been dressing slightly out of date like they probably would have been wearing like the latest fashion so that might even be like the right colgate where they make the toothpaste <laughs> and wrigley Hey JD, how you doing? Devin Sullivan, hello. Arthur Berry, five bucks, enjoying the walk. Thanks, Arthur. Thank you very, very kindly, Arthur Berry, for the five dollar super. Let's see if I can turn this around. <laughs> there. Thank you. <laughs> Much appreciated, Arthur. Thank you. Doesn't it feel like it's time we got past this cold, wintry feeling wind and stuff? Yep, I'm done, I'm done with it. <laughs> right? It's mid-April now, it needs to stop. Yeah, I think we're ready to be gone with the wintry feeling yep. Arctic blast type winds and things like that. That's correct. <laughs> 
Hey, Nancy Mattis. Tara, is that Young and Dundas? Well, we're nowhere near there. No, not at all. <laughs> and I don't think we're going to even get anywhere. Well, eventually we'll get somewhat near to there, but then by then, who knows where she'll be, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good hour and a bit away from where we are now. Yeah. We are way in the east end here, Nancy Mattis. This is Gerard Street. We're heading north up Carla. This is like, remember when we streamed last time we passed by the real jerk? Yep. And someone was like, oh, my ex used to work there. Yep. <laughs> He was a real jerk. Yeah. He was a real jerk and he worked with a real jerk. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure whether I was going to stream today or tomorrow, but the forecast said tomorrow was rain. Yeah. So, if it's raining tomorrow, I might get an Uber to Union. Yeah. Depending on how rainy it is. But we'll see if it really is rainy tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it's like super rainy. I don't can't see. Yeah. I don't yeah, see. That's a cool shot. You can see all the way yeah. to the Aura at Young and Gerard. Yeah. That's about where we're going to end up. Yeah, we're going to be not too far from that eventually, but. That's a huge walk. Yeah. Because it looks like it's just at the end of that street, really. Yeah. That's, that's like a good hour that's walk. That's far there. away, yeah. far away, yeah. And I like the old brick building on the right. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I never really noticed that one before. I would love to live in an old converted factory, except it's probably super haunted. You had to add that last part. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> you couldn't is. just say he'd love to live in an old converted factory. <laughs> well, I would accept that it's probably super haunted. That's what would stop me from yeah. doing that. I just like to live in an old converted converted factory, period. End of sentence. Yeah. But what if it's haunted? Yeah, I don't believe in that. <laughs> hey, Funny Dog says hi to both of us. Hello, Funny Dog. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Landry, hello. Well, that was you, Tiana, who said that. Okay. <laughs> but the real but jerk. The real jerk. Yeah. <laughs> I've never actually walked along this northern part of Carla, I don't think, anyway. Maybe once. I definitely never have. Yeah. Hey, Ken Lan, hello. I like how these old neighborhoods still have these corner stores. I know. Yeah. Okay. Dawn's convenience. I guess I have walked through here because I remember. I remember Dawn's convenience. <laughs> those stores probably do super well because they serve the whole neighborhood. Yeah. And those convenience stores are actually convenient. Yeah. And like my convenience store in my neighborhood, which is a 35 minute walk from my house. Which is not convenient at all. Right. So, there you go. Yeah, back in the day, those neighborhood corner stores were the norm, you know? Right. And now they're mostly all gone. Hey, Mark MW, hello. <laughs> dog sees other dog. <laughs> Uh -oh. Uh -oh. 
lost part of the discount variety. Yeah. <laughs> I probably will never go in that store though. <laughs> yeah. And look at this one. Carla Pastry and Cafe. I bet that's really good. Seem to be anything going on right now. No. <laughs> Doesn't even look like it's open for business. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Or closing. Yeah. It's in some sort of state of flux. Is that a nest? Looks like it. Maybe it's quite a big nest. clump of little branches and stuff. Looks like a squirrel's nest. Yeah. Like what Apollo says, we saw a squirrel outside. <laughs> There's a squirrel outside. <laughs> the residential section of Carla Avenue. It's quite nice. Yeah, these are some nice houses. Yeah. Man, if I could afford one of these puppies. I saw someone posted on Facebook like sometime this past week and it was an ad for houses in Toronto and they were houses like about this size yeah like a house just like that and it was like from the 1950s and it was like homes for sale starting at sixteen thousand dollars sixteen thousand one wow. of those yeah <laughs> I was like Jesus like I know that was a lot of money in the 1950s but like yeah. I've like asked my Oma about this because she bought her house for my Opa they bought their house at Young and Shepherd in 1961, just after my mom was born. And at the time, my Opa worked at the Molson's factory downtown. That was like where he worked his whole life. And so my Oma wasn't working because she just had two kids. And my Opa had that factory job. And so he was the sole breadwinner. So they bought that house for $16,000. That's how much it cost. 1961. And then I said to my Oma, I was like, well, what was your down payment? And she said their down payment was just under $2,000 for that house. And then I was like, and she said, but keep in mind at that time, like your Opa only brought home $75 a week from his paycheck. Right. And I was like, okay, but like what percentage of that paycheck went towards your mortgage and how much did you have left over? And she said, Oh, she said about 30% of that paycheck went to our mortgage and the rest we had for food and savings. She's like, we weren't hurting. She's like, we weren't like rich or anything, but yeah, like yeah. we had more than enough to cover all the bills. Like we were never strapped. And I was like, yeah, see, that's the difference. Because <laughs> now like people are paying like 80, 90% of their salaries towards housing, mm -hmm. which is ridiculous. And that's like rent. That's not even a mortgage. Yeah. Like in Toronto. Yeah. In Vancouver, it's 103%, yeah. which is insane. Like, well, we just watched that video today with yeah. that very statistic. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the old vanity. Yeah. Urbanity. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good YouTube channel. Oh, oh, the urbanity. So it's like, yeah, like $16,000 was a lot of money in 1961, but at the same time, it was like a manageable amount of money. Like. It was the amount of money that was like affordable if you had a job, you know? Yeah. It's so, like back then, as long as you had a steady job, you could get a house. It was not a problem. But now you can't do that. As you're saying back then, too, like, because there wasn't such thing as a credit score, because now, like, you can't get a mortgage if you don't have a credit rating or a good credit rating. But that was only introduced in the 90s. So, like, back then in the 60s, all you needed to get a mortgage was proof that you were employed and then you needed to show like how much money you made per week basically and then the bank will give you a mortgage based on that so like all they had to do was like go to the bank and my opa had to be like here's my letter of employment from my boss 
this is how much money I'm making every week. And the bank was like, cool, here's your mortgage. <laughs> They're like, cool, thanks. Yeah. I'll take my keys now. Like, what? <laughs> like, what? I can't even imagine. Like, that's crazy. Well, too bad time machines aren't real. <laughs> I know. Look at the skyline. Hello, enjoy the decline. How you doing? Yeah, let's get a look at this skyline here. Yeah, yeah, the houses all through here are very, very nice. Funny Dog says, you must be of German descent. <laughs> There's the orc on there. Apparently that was a squirrel's nest, Vivian says. Yeah. It's called a dre, says Paul Murphy. Oh, okay. Thank you. Now we know. <laughs> I can has learning. This is Withrow Park, right? Is that the name of this park? That's an interesting house. It doesn't fit in with its neighbors, but... Nope. <laughs> That's the odd one out. Yeah. You know what that is? That's an Aquarius in a room full of Tauruses. <laughs> hey, Jim and Janine. Hello. Hello, Jim and Janine. Nobody's whistling. Do you hear anybody whistling? No. <laughs> Might just be like the wind. Yeah, it's maybe just the wind is whistling past the microphone of the phone. It is like very windy right now. Yeah. Once again, the wind ruins everything. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I spot a rat on the Danforth ten dollar super. All right. <laughs> All right, Robert, we'll keep How an eye out. <laughs> we'll keep an eye out. I don't think I've ever spotted a rat on the Danforth though. <laughs> I'm just showing the nice houses here. Because in the other direction, the sun is blaring and glaring at us. Yeah. Blaring. <laughs> blaring and glaring. Yeah. How's bonsai doing? He's having tummy troubles again. Uh -oh. So, he's at my parents this weekend while I'm in town. But, he's on the bland food diet, the chicken and rice. Mm -hmm. Old man bonsai. Very yep. old man. Yep. <laughs> he's my little snoring puppy. <laughs> Every night when I go to bed, I have a queen size bed and one side of the bed is for bonsai and one side is for me. And every night when I go to sleep, I'll like turn the blankets down and get my bed ready to sleep in. And then I go into the bathroom to brush my teeth. And then when I come out of the bathroom, bonsai will have jumped up onto the bed, onto his side of the bed. And he's sleeping with his little face onto, on the pillows. And I have like two giant queen size pillows on his side of the bed. And he'll just like lay his face down on them and he's like curled up in a little ball sleeping it's so cute <laughs> and then i climb into bed next to him and i pull the covers up over both of us and we just like snuggle down under the blankets 
and he'll like snuggle up into my back. It's so cute. Joy Sally, hello. Hello, hello. Scott Briggs says, Oh, it's very cute. <laughs> that pink house over there, <laughs> just a random pink house. Yeah. <laughs> Cute puppy, although he's the world's oldest puppy. He's not that old. <laughs> he's only 12. Well, for a puppy, that's pretty old. Yeah. Well, Shih Tzu's li can live to be like up to 16. Right. Tuxedo was almost 17 when he died. Yeah. So I'm hoping I have him for another few years. Oh, yeah. And he's pretty spry. Like, he's just like when I take him on walks, he's like bouncing around, like hippity hopping everywhere. <laughs> I'm sure he's not a bunny rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> he likes to eat bunny poop. He does yeah. like to eat bunny poop. That's what gives him the tummy troubles. Yeah. Too much, too many M and M's. <laughs> Holy name school. Especially in the winter time, when the bunnies leave little frozen treats for him. Well, look, we made it to Danforth. Yeah. Only took a half an hour. Hey, Nancy Mattis, a $5 super chat. Ken, did I tell Megan about your Toronto YouTubers joining together karaokeing with a shirtless Johnny Strides? <laughs> well, I'm telling her right now. <laughs> yeah, what do you, what do you think that. about that, Megan? Well, <laughs> you want to see a shirtless Johnny? I really, really don't. <laughs> but uh, if you guys want to, you just, I support that. I just won't be there. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. <laughs> Well, she knows now, and that's the first I've heard of it too, Nancy, but thank you for informing us, and thank yes. you also for the $5 super. Very, very generous. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated, Thanks. Nancy Mattis. Every time I touch this thing, it doesn't want to around. Yeah. 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 It's like super sensitive with everything else, except yeah. that, apparently. I literally can poke it three or four yeah. times, and it doesn't turn around. Can you see? Are there like yeah, a little bit? But I mean, you're scratching it also. So yeah, it's a little red. Yeah. Oh, I can feel it like on my eyebrows too. Oh yikes! It's forming. <laughs> All right, we're looking for rats. <laughs> found the Danforth. We're going to head west now into downtown. Hey Jenny, hello. <laughs> I guess Jenny doesn't want to see that either. <laughs> no. I'm with you Jenny, I'm okay. Not <laughs> It's funny, we're walking in a different direction, but yet the wind is still blowing in our face. I know. Is it just blowing in every direction all at once? It seems to be. <laughs> um, I might have to duck out early, because it's, get, like, it's getting all over my face now. Uh, okay. And that's like a sign I need to stop. Okay. So, I might just like hop up. Where's the next subway station? Uh, probably Pape. Pape? Well, actually, I think Pape was that way. Was it? I'm not sure. No, that's okay. I just need to go away. No, I'm telling you. No, I'm telling you. Yeah, just like that's a sign I need to stop because it can progress. If I don't stop.
Hey, Mr. Bob Newell, how you doing? We're in Greek town right now. <laughs> we would have to walk round and round. <laughs> round and round. To find Rat. Oh, yeah. Because it's a song by a band called Rat. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a reference that only I would get. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> that went totally over my head. Toronto's do up music guy, hello. It smells good around here, it even does. even though it's things I probably wouldn't eat, but it still smells good. You I know. know. Yeah. Whatever that is, I want some. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's roasted rat. Mm, <laughs> yum yum. <laughs> Smell like something yummy cooking. Jeez, I keep getting shocks. I know, it's me. Well, here, take my keys. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's definitely not burritos. Look, it's flying rats. Does that count? Uh, rats with wings? That might be the closest thing we see. There are some. I yeah. see them on the neck. Yeah. yeah, and I can feel them starting on my yeah. eyes. Yeah. Yeah, in certain conditions, Megan gets hives. Like if it's a cold wind, for yeah. instance. Blowing on the face. Yeah. Blowing on her face, or if she's kind of going too fast, I guess, then she wants to go or something. You know, like situations like that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like if I'm like stressed and walking, I'll get highs. Or if I'm not stressed and I'm walking and there's like a cold wind blowing on my face, I'll get highs. Yeah. And that's like a sign I need to stop. So she doesn't want to continue because the hives will just... Well, that's a pretty dress. Will just yeah. keep appearing. She needs to just stop and rest. Yeah. So she's going to take the subway. I'm going to continue streaming. She has my keys so she can just go straight to my place. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I never catch the train at most of these stations. I usually just pass right through, you know? Right. Hey, Tom Seeley, five bucks. Now that Megan is leaving, can I climb up the rusty old fire escape? No. <laughs> <laughs> Megan does not approve. <laughs> There's no subway, says Robert. What do you mean? 
I guess you have to catch a bus. Maybe the subway is down right now. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, in that case, maybe I'll just take an Uber. Maybe from the second cup. Yeah, because, I mean, a bus would be pretty quick to grab, though. No, but I just, I don't want to, like, drag it out because it's going to get worse. Like, I need to sit down, like, as soon as possible. Okay. And I need to be in, like, a warm place because that's the only way that the hives will... I'm literally allergic to cold. Like, I'm not joking. I'm actually allergic to cold. Um... So I'm just gonna... Thank you very much, Tom Seeley, by the way, for that super chat. Maybe we'll see a fire escape along the way. Much appreciated, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna grab from the second here. Okay. I think the subway is down this weekend on this part of line too, right? That's why all these shuttle buses are running here. Yeah. Wouldn't, wouldn't you know it? Well, okay, I'm gonna, it says it's four minutes away, so you can keep going. I don't wanna hold you up. I'll wait, I'll wait. It's only four minutes. Okay. Yeah, the subway begins at 5.30 Monday morning again, so. Oh, yes, yeah. Well, that's okay. I can just go straight back. Yeah. And just give me a call. I'm in a shower when I get back, and then just. But I'll be done with. Okay. Turn up the volume. Oh, actually, wait. I have my own phone, so I don't need. I can buzz myself in, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. and Megan do not get along. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it seems like it, right? Right, Whitby dude? for vaccines but I just think like whatever it did to my immune system like ever since I got that first round of COVID shots every time like I've never had this before in my life until like a few years back when I got the first round of shots and ever since then every time there's a cold wind blowing in my face just hives everywhere yeah and I've never been sensitive to at all like I've never had hives in my life so well I mean Everyone reacts differently, right? To yeah. not everyone reacts the same way to the vaccines. Yeah. So, hey, Cynthia, Ava, hello. Two hundred and nine people watching. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, like and subscribe. That's right, Megan. Stick around. Megan just said all the right things. <laughs> stick around. Why don't you join us? Like, share, subscribe. subscribe. Stick around. Come and say hi in the chat. Hey, Paolo HC. That's the thing with Uber, you never know yeah. where they are. I know. <laughs> it's like, I'm here, where? Well, where? Like around the corner, like two blocks up, like where? It says they're like literally <laughs> here. I think they're yeah. on the outside, I mean maybe that's this. Okay. Mm. Maybe not. <laughs> it's D-A-P-N-7-9-1, and a Honda Elantra, I don't know what it is. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> After the 90s, every car looks the same to me. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> I know. They all have the same shape to them now, you know? 
<laughs> same look and feel. Yeah. Same car, different wheel. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's them right there. Right there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll good luck with the rest of the stream. Ooh, okay. what's, I'm shocking you, what the hell? Megan is shocking me every time she touches me today. I'm full of electricity, <laughs> even though I'm staying behind. Maybe. Okay, have a good stream. Alright, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, well there she goes, heading back to my place. I think she's good, Nancy. <laughs> hey Jacques, how you doing? Your Car Karen was allergic to the cold and snow. Wow, broke out in hives. That sounds pretty similar to to Megan. If there's a cold wind blowing or if she's rushing along and stressed in any way, she breaks out in hives. But that only started a few years ago, as she mentioned. That's not a thing that ever used to happen to her. Hey, Cristiano, hello. That's right, and <laughs> Ken is continuing <laughs> on his own. That's what it's all about, people. <laughs> That's what it's all about. <laughs> Maybe they're putting on a little bit of a show to entertain us. Yeah. <laughs> so we're walking west on Danforth Ave. Gonna head back into downtown. Hell <laughs> of Vernon Shirley, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Schlemiel, Schlemeisel, Haas and Pepper Incorporated. <laughs> hey, Novo Costs, hello. Indie record store here, Cops Records. <laughs> That's right, Lenny and Squiggy. I think Lenny is the only cast member still alive, right? I think everyone else from Laverne and Shirley has passed away. Only Lenny is left. <laughs> the Lone Wolf. He always used to have that jacket that said Lone Wolf on the back on the show. And now he really is the Lone Wolf of the cast of Laverne and Shirley.
Although I think on his coat, the L was missing, so it said one wolf. <laughs> I'm just remembering my old Laverne and Shirley watching days here. <laughs> yeah, Danforth Music Hall. What's playing tonight, if anything? April 15th. Looks like we're missing some letters. <laughs> <laughs> the big ragu, right? Hey, St. Petersburg Walker, hello. Do I feel cold? No, I feel fine. I rarely feel too cold unless it's literally like 15 below or something like that. I grew up in North Bay though, a very cold winter place. <laughs> At least in the winter it's very cold and snowy. Hello Ida, how you doing? And Matt D, 8282, what's up? <laughs> Joy Sally, you got it. That's one of the best TV theme songs, I would say, from that era. Wow, the sun is looking very nice here. Now that it's set a bit more, check out those views. Crossing Broadview Avenue. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> yeah, I think Laverne and Shirley started going downhill when they moved from Milwaukee to LA, right? The show just didn't feel the same anymore. Being in Milwaukee was what made it feel authentic. <laughs> Once they're in LA, it was just like any other sitcom, you know? So many sitcoms were set in LA. Man, the sunset looks pretty nice tonight. Tom Seeley. No, I never listen to music when I'm out and about. Even when I'm just taking a walk for leisure and not recording, I never have music playing. I kind of like to hear the sounds of the, uh, the city, you know, the surroundings. I like to hear everything. I listen to music at home. I go, okay, it's music listening time, and I sit down, and I get comfortable, and I just listen to the music. <laughs> That's right, Whitby Dude, it was.
Hey, Carl Roth, hello. I mostly just stayed in, Carl, on the rainy days. I made sure I had recorded some videos beforehand so I had content and then I could just stay in on the rainy days. Hey, Oprah, welcome. Good to see you. It's been a while since you've popped in and said hello. Cristiano, I'm on the Bloor Viaduct. I was on Danforth Avenue. Now I'm on the Bloor Viaduct. Windy up here. I walk really slow. <laughs> I don't know about that. I usually walk about twice as fast as everyone around me <laughs> most of the time. Hey, Cairo. I hope you're enjoying the stream. It's good to have you both. Have you ever been over this bridge before Cairo? towards Strides Land over there. Hey, Mike A, how you doing? Never been? Well, it's pretty cool. I'm sure you'll eventually make it over the bridge. Down at the highway. Don Valley Parkway down there, and the Don River way down there. Got awesome views of downtown Toronto. Hey, thanks, Yvonne. Ida, this is the Bloor Viaduct. I think its proper name is the Prince Edward Viaduct, but most people just call it the Bloor Viaduct. Because it leads onto Bloor Street when we get to the end here. Cool, cool, Oprah. Yeah, that's right, Whitby dude. Unfortunately, they deemed it was necessary. That would be cool, Oprah. That would be cool. Huh. 
Ah, the wind is dying down a bit, but it was really blowing when I was walking over the bridge. Yeah, that's right, Robert. Peter, I did. I did use Walkmans when I was a teenager. They were all the rage then, so I did do that. But I usually listen to <laughs> John Williams movie theme songs and things like that. <laughs> Not popular music, you know. <laughs> hey, thank you, Vivian. Right, like, share, subscribe, hit all the buttons, do all the things. Come and say hi in the chat if you want or not. Lurking is perfectly fine. But at least subscribe if you're just going to lurk. <laughs> All right, we're off the bridge now, coming into downtown. Jerry Goldsmith, yeah, he's good too. But I had like a, a cassette full of all the old movie theme songs from like Jaws to Close Encounters to Star Wars and Raiders of the Lost Ark and E.T. And I would walk around with my Walkman listening to all these <laughs> movie theme songs. No one knew what I was listening to. <laughs> they probably thought I was listening to like Motley Crue or something. Media Monitor, welcome. Yeah, I think next year, right? Next year, Jaws will be 50 years old. Crazy. I was into the Beatles then, yeah, but I just rather listen to them at home, I guess. It's, if I want to sit back and really enjoy music, I do it at home. I just like to set aside a time to listen to music without any distractions, you know, like being outside with all the commotion and traffic and people. You can't really enjoy it as much. Star Trek soundtrack, Neville, yeah? <laughs> you like these buildings, Tiana? See the Bloor Yorkville skyline. Looking 
straight ahead. I never listened to James Bond, no. I knew some of the songs from the movies, but it wasn't really my favorite thing. Remember, For Your Eyes Only, that one really sticks in my head. I think I saw that movie about two or three times in the theater, though, For Your Eyes Only. I'm going to plug in my power bank. Let's hope the wind doesn't blow my gimbal over here. I'm going to set it down for a minute. My pleasure, Tiana. Hey, have a good night, Oprah. It was awesome having you pop in and say hey. We'll talk again soon. And have a good night, Cairo also. Power bank plugged in. <laughs> nice. So I'm going to continue west along Bloor Street. getting too dark to wear my shades. I think it's time they came off. <laughs> hey, Fasung, hello. Or I should say aloha. It always takes a while to get across here. Although, wouldn't you know it, I get the green light just as I say that. Parliament Street. What do I like most in Toronto? I guess just generally downtown. Young Street Strip, St. Lawrence Market, Kensington Market. All the lively, interesting areas. The 
Yorkville is nice also. And the waterfront. So generally just downtown Toronto <laughs> as a whole. So we got some places that have opened up here. A food mart. That's good to see. Those are good neighborhoods too. The annex is technically within downtown. Koreatown is just outside of downtown though, but they are right beside one another. live in another area of Toronto well I live in downtown East now I guess I wouldn't mind living on the west side that'd be nice just adjusting my power bank Are the people at well this part of Bloor Street is not usually terribly busy it's mostly cars that use this stretch once we get a bit further west there will be people <laughs> there'll be lots of people Not every street, every part of every street can be busy at all times. Yeah, the sun looked really nice tonight as it was going down when I was walking over the viaduct. The colors were great. There's an entrance to Sherborne subway station right there. And I'm looking towards the St. Jamestown neighborhood. Giuseppe, Megan had to head home in an Uber. She was having a bad reaction to the cold wind. So she didn't want to continue. So she's most likely at my place now, all warm and comfortable. <laughs>
this neighborhood is mostly referred to as St. Jamestown, if you're looking south. On the other side of the street, though, is Rosedale, if you go north. So this is sort of like the boundary between St. Jamestown and Rosedale. Rosedale is a wealthy area, and St. Jamestown is not a wealthy area. And they're adjacent to one another. Where's the fast food at? It's all around us. <laughs> There's fast food all along this stretch of Bloor Street. I don't know that song, Nancy. Pencil Thin Mustache. I've never even heard of that song. All right, I'm going to cross here to the other side. So there's Sherborne Station again, the main entrance. Adams is not from Toronto, no. I think he was born in Kingston, Ontario, but then he was based out of Vancouver when he became known, when his music career took off. I thought I saw Brian Adams on the street, though, one time. At the corner of Church and Gerard. Pretty sure it was him. He was looking at his phone. Like he was trying to figure out which way to go. He was, and he was talking on the phone also. And I was like, I think that's Brian Adams. <laughs> But before I could figure it out for sure, he walked away. How about the mashed potatoes dance? Is that a thing? Is that a thing, Sue W? <laughs> hey, C and D, hello. And hello to to Sadie. No, I didn't say hi. I wasn't 100% sure if it was him or not, so. Hey, Harvey, hello. Happy Saturday. Rogers headquarters. I don't know how you feel about that. <laughs> how are you doing, Good. Good. Do you remember me? Um, no, what Anthony. was your name? Anthony, Anthony yeah. Ramirez. 
Armada. Armada. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you? I do remember you now. How you doing? Good, good. <laughs> yeah. Nice so, to see you here. Yeah. I yeah. I'm just wandering into downtown. I'm not yeah. exactly sure where I'll end up. Yeah. yeah. I heard there's a protest going on downtown, so I probably be careful. So. Oh, is there? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my mom told me so. Okay. Yeah. Well, all right, Anthony Armada, do you want to say hi? Yeah, of yeah? course. Hey, everyone. Sorry, it's been a little while. I've uh, been busy with school lately. <laughs> Just got off a big research project, but you know, now I'm almost done and I'll hopefully jump on the chat a little more often. So. Right on. All right. Yeah, it. it was good seeing you again. I remember running into him another time over by the U of T. Hey, Jeanette Morales, hello. And the Ottawa Wanderer. Now the wind seems to have died right down. Oh, is that right, Jack? Is T Shot still streaming? Or is she ended now? There's a look right down Ted Rogers Way, also Jarvis Street as it continues further south. LLL, I agree. <laughs> in places, in certain places it is. <laughs> I quite like this stretch of Bloor Street actually, I think it's very attractive here. streaming. Thanks, Matt. Young and Bloor up ahead. First, we'll get to Bloor and Church. Was oh, that right, LLL? Hopefully, the weather was at least nice while you were wandering around for that long. Manulife Headquarters. Sometimes lying in bed all day is not always a bad thing, right? Yeah, I agree, Jeanette. Too bad they took down their holiday lighting. It really added something. 
you could just be lighting all year round. Why not just keep it that way? Crossing Church. Hey, basic champion. So the plan with Megan was to walk south on church here, but I think I'll alter that. And I'll keep going a bit further west. clouds in the sky tonight. Got the moon looking pretty cool. Uh, I think the weather today got up to about 10 Celsius and it was sunny but windy. By the afternoon anyway it was sunny and windy. It was warm enough that I was wearing just a t-shirt at one point. Megan and I recorded a video of us walking into Leslieville when it was warm and windy. Here's the W Hotel. If you didn't know, that's why there's a big giant W there. Hey, Leo, hello. Lots of people waiting for the bus here. Since the subways are not running here on this part of line two. <laughs> hey Kurt Affair, hello. Although lots of people are coming out of the station here, probably they're getting off trains from line one and then making their way to the shuttle buses. Lower Young Station is here where line one and line two intersect. Oh, is that right, Kurt? Yeah, I am a big Sloan fan from back in the early 90s when they were still independent when they had their original video on much music for underwhelmed the old slow version <laughs> and we're at young young and bloor I was thinking it would be really cool to do a walk with one of the members of Sloan, actually. Maybe one day I'll be able to set that up. Hey, 
Hey, Red Camouflage, welcome and thank you for the sub. Hope you're enjoying the walk. We're at Young and Bloor. This is the north end of downtown. Alright, Fasong, Fasong, thank you very much for watching the stream. And enjoy the rest of your day. Have a great evening. I guess it's still early in Hawaii. <laughs> so enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> Leafy X, hello. Uh, I'm not sure what's for dinner yet. I'll have to figure that out. Hello, you betcha. <laughs> I like that name. That's just a fun thing to say, right? <laughs> getting colder well in general it's getting warmer but it varies from day to day Shuttle buses are pretty packed. <laughs> Standing room only in this one. You work security for a Sloan concert. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Sorry, you can't get in. funny, now that I'm walking through all these taller buildings, there's barely any wind at all. you think there'd be a wind tunnel situation, but it's not the case. down the St. Thomas Street. That's always a nice street to walk down. We all cross here. Oh, is that right? You betcha. Yeah, they always put on a good show. I think I saw them nine times now. Which isn't like a huge amount, but for one band in particular, it's one of the higher numbers <laughs> that I've seen of a band. I'm trying to think if I've ever seen any other bands more than nine times, actually. 
other than local bands, you know, friends who would play in a band and that sort of thing. If you count friends bands, and I probably saw some of those bands dozens of times, but... <laughs> going to be 18 tomorrow I thought the forecast was rain that's why I stream today instead of tomorrow hey that's awesome Neil Young Rain and thunderstorms, okay. MCM has relocated to Yorkdale. They abandoned Yorkville to go to Yorkdale. I guess they didn't want a store in both locations, or they couldn't have a store in both locations. Hey, Faux Robiere, hello. So here's St. Thomas Street. Is there any artists outside of the Beatles? Um, Rush, I never saw Rush in concert. So I guess they would definitely be number two. Check out this car. <laughs> Does that not seem a bit excessive? I mean, it barely fits in the frame here. This is the Windsor Arms Hotel. Let's see, fancy hotel. Pardon, do you have any grey poupon? Hey, Paul Murphy, hello. Steve Grant. We saw Rush in the Gasworks. Yeah, that would have been awesome to see. Just to go to the Gasworks would have been awesome. That was... I was old enough when the Gasworks was open to go, but I just never did. I never made a point of trying to go, and I was living in North Bay at the time. A Chrysler limo, right? <laughs> This is a really nice street, probably my favorite street in the Bloor Yorkville neighborhood really, but it's just too short. Got lots of nice buildings tucked in here and awesome views of the surrounding buildings. Hey, Crikey, hello. Your grandson's middle name is Rush. <laughs> That's awesome. I guess that was a name, a pretty common name. I've heard of other guys named Rush also. University Apartments. We are just around the corner from the University of Toronto. 
Hey, William, welcome. And one St. Thomas. A luxury apartment building. Yeah, that's right, Rush Limbaugh. going to emerge onto Charles Street here. We're doing a okay, William. Megan's back at my place now. Carlos R. Good evening. Yeah, I really like this area. I'd live here if I could afford it. For some reason, I've always thought this apartment building would be an awesome place to live. I don't know what it is about this building. I just like the look of it for some reason. It's an older apartment building, so it's probably more solidly constructed. The units are probably a bit bigger. Probably has better soundproofing and that sort of thing. It's the Bay Charles Towers, that's what it's called. It's probably not cheap to live in though. <laughs> but cheaper for sure than some of the other buildings around here, like that one. We're on the corner of Charles and Bay, Carlos. Alipio, hello. Ooh. Or is it Alipio? <laughs> and John123, welcome. Yeah, Megan's okay, William. She just had to head back to my place. The cold wind was not her friend. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. When we were walking on the Danforth, it was pretty cold and windy. And now that I'm downtown, it's neither cold nor windy. We're from Brazil, welcome. John Schaffner, good to have you. Looking 
back towards Bloor. That building under construction just looks like a big dark monolith because there's no lights <laughs> yet. It's the monolith. It's descended on downtown Toronto. <laughs> I thought I was listening to Rush like a patriotic Canadian. <laughs> I guess that is pretty patriotic as far as music listening goes. Hey, look, it's eight mile Detroit style pizza. It's funny, I was just talking about this earlier today because we were at another Detroit style pizza restaurant when I was with Megan and her family called Descendants, Descend Descendants Des Detroit style pizza. Why is that hard to say? <laughs> and we we're talking about what other Detroit style pizza places there are in the city. And I mentioned that one. I've never been to Eight Mile though. Descendants was excellent though. I highly recommend it. Maybe I'll try eight mile next time. Man, look where I am once again, back on Young Street. How does this keep happening? Four point five average. Four point five out of five? I guess that's good then, right? <laughs> you could lose yourself. <laughs> Never noticed this blue building over here. So we're gonna head south down Young Street here. Once again, I am on Young Street. Just can't stay away, I guess. Yeah, Young Street needs a repaving big time. It is horrible. Like the surface of the street is just downright atrocious. Potholes and cracks everywhere. Hello, Sean Hedrick. Thank you, William. That's right. Like, share, subscribe. All of the above, hit the notification bell. And you can check out my next live stream. 
So although this one is not ending yet, so don't go anywhere. Gim Gimbal's being a bit wonky here. 288 watching. So close to 300. Not sure why my gimbal is doing what it's doing. Is it on? <laughs> it's on. <laughs> okay. Hey, Starling, hello. Yeah, not too many cyber cafes left. I think there are still a few in Koreatown along Bloor Street. But most of the restaurants have all turned over here in the last five, ten years. Mostly in the last five years, really. And it's like a whole new wave now of Asian restaurants all along this part of Young Street. And I just tripped on an uneven part of sidewalk. <laughs> That guy just came blazing up the sidewalk. <laughs> yeah, chances are someone might walk out of one of these restaurants there, pal, as you're hurtling along the sidewalk on your bike. Jenna Bayliss, hello. Welcome back, Devin. For some reason this gimbal doesn't even feel like it's on. I'm gonna turn it off and back on again. It was off. Okay, now it's definitely on. Hope you all enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, no dinguses so far. There's not much to it, Jenna. You just put your phone on, make sure it's balanced, and then you just turn it on, and then you can walk along and have a smooth looking video. But sometimes the gimbal gets temperamental. And it doesn't like bad weather conditions also most of the time check out the moon it's not as cool as looking at the Sun during the eclipse but it looks pretty neat
Yeah, JD. In front of certain restaurants, it's just a gong show with all the delivery cyclist guys with all their bikes all over the place. Korean style chicken skewers. All right. I haven't been to any of the McDonald's along here except for the one near Dundas. There's about a half dozen McDonald's locations along Young Street here through downtown Young. Heading south on Young in the heart of downtown. We started way over in Leslieville. In the east end and made our way up Carla. And we even walked through Greek Town and now <laughs> we're downtown. Jane Deere Sugar Water Shop. Hmm. Interesting. Jane Deere Dessert. <laughs> Since 2017, <laughs> that's about how far back lots of these restaurants go here on this part of Young. Just think, sometime in the future, that sign will look really old. Like, since 2017, well, if you're looking at it from the year, like, 2050 or something, <laughs> that place has been there forever since 2017. Hey, we just hit 300 viewers. I knew we'd make it. So I'll do my every now and again pimping out of the channel here. Welcome if you're new. Be sure to like and share and hit the subscribe. And come and say hello in the chat if you want. But no pressure. Hey, <laughs> you dropped your pocket. Were you the 300th viewer? <laughs> It's always good to have you back. It will be there in 2117. Imagine that. Imagine it was still there in 2117. Captain's Boil. I'm not sure if this is a good place. It's fairly busy. It seems pretty popular. Dickie's Barbecue Pit. <laughs> and here's another McDonald's that I've never been in. <laughs> Arthur Berry, yeah, I guess getting some steps in because earlier Megan and I did a video walking from just near my place all the way to Descendants Pizza in Leslieville so that was one walk that we recorded and then after dinner we walked to a donut shop also on Queen Street 
And then we started the live stream from the Value Village store in Leslieville. Of course, Megan had to bow out when we were in Greek town. Edo Japan coming soon. Drooling yet? I don't know, not really. Hey, regenerative, regenerative designs, hello. He was walking through the intersection when he shouldn't have been. Sometimes honks are justified, but lots of times they definitely are not justified. Chris Mills, hello. Oh yeah, we call we call them fries, really. Also in Canada. Sometimes chips. It depends on what sort of restaurant you're at. Like fish and chips is a thing we say here. If you're at a fish and chips restaurant. Other than that, we call them fries. What's the best McDonald's? I couldn't tell you. The one near Dundas is the biggest one, I think, the flagship McDonald's. I wouldn't know if it was the best or not, though. <laughs> that would be something, right, Peter? Sidewalk is very crowded here. Can't even really pass anyone. There's people coming in the other direction. There's the moon again. I did a via a via. I did a video walking through the IKEA. I guess I was thinking IKEA and Via came out. 
But I did a video walking through the IKEA here not all that long ago. As well as the so-called dead mall here at the shops at Aura. The base of the condo here, there's a underground shopping mall. And that video is still getting views. I think it's around close to 23,000 views now, so it's doing pretty well. People really like dead mall videos, <laughs> and they are interested in IKEA, I guess. Is the guy saying hello? I didn't even notice. <laughs> Sorry, guy. Hello. <laughs> well, you can check out the video if you want to see what it looks like inside an IKEA. Although this is a smaller IKEA since it's a downtown urban format store. Not as big. If you go out to the suburbs though, there are the big massive IKEA stores out there. And this is finally starting to go above ground here. This new skyscraper. It's taken forever. Kanji Queen. Yeah, we walk past my favorite restaurant, Tai On Young. Tons of delivery cyclists all around here. This is the big flagship McDonald's. This is the biggest McDonald's downtown, I guess. Yeah, it's right here. Claw Machine Arcade. And we're almost at Young and Dundas. Just talk over the Muzak across the street there as best I can <laughs> till we get out of the Muzak zone, as I like to call it. But once we get to Dundas, there'll probably be more music to contend with there. <laughs> right? Right, quad mods? <laughs> A weed store next to a strip club, yep. <laughs> Here we have a weed store next to a Five Guys and a Bon Me Boys. Has that Bon Me Boys always been there? Or maybe they just relocated there recently.
Am I? <laughs> How you doing? Arthur. Arthur, Arthur Berry? Yeah. Oh. I, walked my house, and I, said, well, I kept on walking, waiting for you. Well, look who caught up to me, everybody. It's Arthur. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I guess I do walk pretty quick yeah, once I get going, right? I I I'll just cross and go back home. Okay. So I'll you just a, live up that way? Yeah, I live yeah. Uh, right from uh, from, uh, Park. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's a nice night, though, yes, right? It is, it's a nice yeah. night to take a little, yeah, stroll. A little stroll, a little yeah, nice semi running. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Ken. <laughs> you too, very yeah. nice to meet you. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's saying hello, Arthur. Okay, hi, everybody. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad you're able to catch up. Okay. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> there he goes, Arthur Berry. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, sometimes I don't realize how fast I'm walking when I get into the zone, you know. <laughs> I have been sniped, yes. That's the second viewer I've run into on this stream. We ran into Anthony Armada earlier. Although I think he just came upon me though, coincidentally. Not an actual sniping. Hello, madam. We made it to the square. Here at the square. <laughs> Imagine having our our walking videos up on these screens, right? <laughs> All right, Devin. Just play the latest Ken Continuum video right there. Let's go across. There's no music playing over here, so I rarely get to linger here and take it in while I'm live streaming for fear of a copyright claim, but I mean, cars are playing music as they pass by, but I'm gonna cross to the other side when I get a chance. We'll check out what's happening over there. 
Hey, Lisa, welcome. All right. I think I'm good to go. Random dudes over there just playing their own music. <laughs> Hello, Abby. Ten second challenge. Don't trip to it. Just have to have a good No, you don't try it. I'm not sure what, what the challenge is. <laughs> Can you stop the timer at exactly 10 seconds? I guess that's the challenge. And they win $100. And win $100, yeah. And that definitely works. good reflex. Yeah, if you can hit the stop button when it gets to exactly... One zero point zero zero, you win a hundred bucks. <laughs> it looks sketchy. <laughs> it can't be that easy, otherwise, he wouldn't be willing to <laughs> risk giving away a hundred dollars. Some sort of performance going on here. I can download I can download the song the instrumental that you want from YouTube or I have my own beats ready so we can just have a little session. I guess I just came at a good time when there was no music playing because I have a feeling his big speaker there will be blasting something <laughs> shortly. <laughs> Lots of honking going on here. And they're still working on the new Shake Shack. This is going to be, I think, downtown Toronto's first Shake Shack location right here. Take the Ken second challenge, yeah. <laughs> hey, Bart Ford, hello. kind of nice to be able to sort of linger at Young and Dundas during a live stream. I usually have to sort of rush through here to avoid the music. Shank? <laughs> Shank Shack? <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> Yeah, they're working. Yeah, they must be on a on a rush to get that opened, you know. Guys are working this late on a Saturday. Must be on some sort of schedule. There's a big giant helicopter. I think that's an air ambulance right there.
let's start heading east to east of Young. Where things get a bit dodgy sometimes when you go east of Young. It's especially dodgy because that's where you'll find the residents of a very dodgy guy known as the Ken Continuum. This is his stomping grounds here, east of Young. Enter at your own risk. You don't want to run to that guy. <laughs> On occasion, yes. <laughs> Canada Cup Watch, hello. There's the Dundas Streetcar. Good evening, Vincent Harris. run over by the streetcar. <laughs> well, that was a pretty Toronto shot right there. my favorite burrito boys the view looking towards the end of Dundas yeah me too when you're Looking that way from around the corner, and you can see all the billboards. I think that's one of the coolest views downtown, really. <laughs> right, Lisa? <laughs> yeah, I still have my bike. I just haven't ridden it in a long time. This place is super popular here. There's always a crowd in there and oftentimes the lineup. Even with all the scaffolding here now covering it, it hasn't deterred anyone. Bike stream, yeah, maybe one day. I just always thought that bike videos or bike streams, everything goes by too quickly, you know? You don't get as much of a chance to take things in. But it doesn't mean I won't do it sometime. I like lots of Canadian bands. Many, many, probably too many to even <laughs> list here. The two that I mention most often in my streams and videos are Sloan and Rush. I mean, 
you know, you can't go wrong with Sloan or Rush. But there's so many, like, lesser-known Canadian bands that I really like that aren't talked about much outside of certain music scenes and that sort of thing. The Gandharvas, yeah. I remember them. Or Eric's Trip. Anyone remember Eric's Trip? should check out Chad Van Galen. All right, maybe I will. Oh, okay. Yeah, Devin. Thanks for the... Uh, I think I might have heard of them. Yeah, I have heard of Godspeed. You... I definitely have heard of them, yes. I think they're from Montreal. Yeah, Lisa, yeah, they are right. Stitch in Time, I think I've heard of that group as well. I really liked all the indie rock bands that sort of blew up in the early 2000s, lots of them were from Toronto. Toronto and Montreal really had tons of them. Like, you know, the hidden cameras and broken social scene and... Metric. Stills? Hmm, not sure. Not sure, Lisa. Or Death From Above, that's another cool band. Okay, Lisa. Hey, have a good night, Jeanette. Thank you for checking out the stream. You seen them a million times, Lisa? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, who am? I think I wanna. Who am? Uh, I six. I guess it's a pretty good one. Like the uh, gimbal? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is DJI. Yeah, DJI. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah it does the job. <laughs> Thanks. Biff Naked. I remember we saw Biff, Biff Naked in North Bay. Maybe you were at that show. You dropped your pocket. <laughs> All these other bands I remember like Joel Plaskett. 
or the Joel Plaskett emergency. Fillmore's. Hey, hello, Yusuke. Watching from Japan. Welcome. I <laughs> hear second home, Carlos. <laughs> Magneto Land. Yeah, I saw them. I remember I saw them. Jeez, I saw so many shows, like literally trying to narrow down certain bands. They all just blend together in my mind now. The organ, yep. Yeah. Off of Dundas. <laughs> Tokyo Police Club, yeah, it's another one. Geez, so many. Just the Toronto area alone has just an endless <laughs> number of cool bands that have come out of this area. And what about the Black Halos? I actually know one of the members of that band. They're a cool band based out of Vancouver. Attacking Black from Welland, yep. I am going home. I'm almost home, actually. <laughs> so I think I have to start wrapping up the stream. So I hope you all enjoyed the walk. Started in Leslieville with Megan, made our way up Carla Avenue, all the way up to Danforth. And walked along Danforth for a bit, towards Greektown. Megan... Had to bow out at that point. She took an Uber back to my place, but then I continued on over the viaduct into downtown, along Bloor, and south, eventually on Young Street, and the Standing Bear, right under the wire with a $10 super chat. Greetings from Central Florida. Looks like an awesome night in the GTA. Be safe and good to see you. Thank you very much, the Standing Bear. It was a good night. It started off kind of windy and blustery, but now it's very calm. The wind has all but disappeared, so a very nice night now for walking. Thank you very much for your generous super chat, The Standing Bear. Much appreciated. Thank you so much. The Mellagrove Band, yeah, I saw them. I remember watching a show that they played. I think I have a big pile of old show posters. After every show I would go to, I would snag one of the posters from the show, like the paper little flyer type posters, and I have a whole collection of them. It's quite a big fat envelope full of show posters. <laughs> I might look through those one day. But anyway, as I was saying, it was an awesome stream. I hope you all enjoyed. 
and I'll be sure to see you again in my next stream in three or four days, which is the usual. But tomorrow night I'll be premiering a video on my channel. So I hope everyone can check it out. There'll be a live chat during the premiere. It's a pre-recorded video though, but still fun to watch and chat. Usually that'll be around 7.15ish in the evening or thereabouts. So thanks to everyone in the chat and thanks to the mods and thanks to all those who sent support with your super chats or super stickers or any PayPal donations. It's all very much appreciated and it means a lot that you support the channel as you do. And of course, like and share and subscribe and hit all the buttons as I like to say if you haven't already done so. And until next time, I will continue. So thank you everyone. Thanks to the channel members and have a great night. And I'll see you all again soon. I'm going to hit end now.